Today's talk is about Hollywood's favorite villain. It's a discussion about the way business is treated in the movies. Villains, scalawags, criminals. Is that true? And if so, why does Hollywood only find villainry in the capitalist world? Will Rogers said, I only know what I read in the paper, but of course in the modern world it's also what you see on television, it's what you see in the movies. The narratives that dominate the portrayal of businessmen in the movie theaters, in our novels, in our, um, in our papers, tend to be relatively negatively, and that may account for the fact that the business reputation in America has dropped precipitously over the last several decades. When you only see crooks on television, villains on the movies, it's not surprising. Think of some of the movies and how not only is the villainy there, but the villainy actually got worse as the, as the story migrated from television to the movies. Think of the movie The Fugitive. In the, in the television version, the one-armed man uh, kills the guy's wife. He's crazy. It's a villainy, and then the story is about him trying to find the villain and capture him. In the movie with Harrison Ford, same story, but now the villain is a pharmaceutical executive who's trying to cover up a drug that if released, which is a question whether it should be or not, will kill many, many thousands of people. Now, ask yourself in a world where litigation is very common and trial lawyers sue everybody, whether any rational businessman would actually release a product that had found out to be a problem into a world where he would face, a company would face nothing more but lawsuits forever. Hollywood doesn't understand business, but it doesn't like it. Um, a, a study some years ago by the Media Research Center found out that four out of five of the businessmen portrayed on television were, were criminals, uh, various forms of abusing the public trust, swindling people, hard-hearted, cold-hearted groups. Sounds like Scrooge. And the Scrooge image on television, on movies, would be better in many cases than what we see in today's movies. But one thing the Wall Street Journal found in an article they just did is that one movie may turn this around. Honest disclosure, I've not seen that movie, but a movie that essentially deals with uh, a fictionalized treatment of Merrill Lynch, one of the financial companies on Wall Street. The man's father worked in that. He thinks his father's honorable. And he turned down request after request to create a movie about Wall Street with his father, in effect, being a villain. He decided to write a different kind of movie discussing what businessmen do. Businessmen, of course, are no different than any other human. They're villains, they're angels, man's a fallen creature. But in a competitive environment, the villain is soon driven out of business. Villains survive, but they survive in the black market where they face no competition because it's illegal. The marketplace not only creates goods and services, it drives out those people who do abuse their role as businessmen. That is something that we in the market world understand, that consumers understand, but not what Hollywood does. Hollywood ought to get it, its act together and recognize they're a commercial enterprise. They don't think of themselves as villainous. Why do they think everyone in business is? Yeah.